There's just something special about grabbing the Nintendo Switch, sitting on the couch and playing a good co-op game with my wife. It's one of our favorite things to do in our marriage is game together. And honestly, it's one of the things that makes the Nintendo Switch so special is all of these good couch co-op games. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. It's Dusty, one half of Our Radiant Gaming. And today we're going to go over the best Switch couch co-op games, in my opinion. First game we have on the list is Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3 is a phenomenal game. In this game, you actually play as Luigi and not Mario. Hot take, Luigi is a lot cooler in Mario. Comment below if you agree or if you disagree. Luigi is invited with his friends to the Last Resort Hotel, but unfortunately his friends go missing. And it's up to him, or technically you playing him, to save them. Luigi can use his poltergust to vacuum up, blow away, or slam the ghost he comes across in this game. There are a lot of interesting mechanics in Luigi's Mansion 3, and one of these requires Luigi's twin, Gooigi, obviously Luigi made of goo, and that is who you actually will control in co-op. One person will control Luigi, and the other person will control Gooigi. This makes for a super, super fun playthrough of this game. I remember literally playing this game so much with my wife when it came out, and we had such a fun time. I'm going through this game. She actually played as Gooigi and I played as Luigi and we just had a blast going through this game and it's not scary at all. So if you're worried about your kids getting scared, it's really not scary. We're huge chickens and don't like scary stuff. So don't worry about that. Number two on the list is a game that has actually blown me away and that is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I've actually kept up with the release of this game for so long and I've been so excited for its release. And honestly, it has blown me away. At the time of recording this, all that is actually out is the demo. And the demo is so good, I'm putting it on this list. I'm so excited for this game. The demo literally blew me away along with all of the other people that I have known that have played this game. It is really such a good game. In the first 3D platformer of the Kirby franchise, you'll get to explore a mysterious world with abandoned structures from a past civilization, using of course Kirby's copy ability to rescue captured Waddledees from the Beast Pack. The demo actually lets you explore the full co-op that you will have when you get Kirby in the Forgotten Land as a full game. When playing a co-op, one player will actually control Kirby and his copy ability while the other one actually plays as the bandana Waddledee, who literally wields a spear. No joke, my wife and I have actually played this demo three to four times and we've even gotten our moms to play this game. It is really such a good demo and I am more than stoked for the full game to be released. If you're looking for a super fun and absolutely gorgeous game to play with your spouse, with your kids, heck, even maybe even your moms and dads or grandparents, this is a game to get. It is so fun to play and especially super fun to play as co-op. Number three on this list is actually Stardew Valley. And I'll be the first to admit, I did not think Think that a farming simulator type game was my type of game but oh how i was wrong Stardew Valley is actually a game developed solely by Eric Barone, otherwise known as Concerned Ape, and it actually still blows my mind that he made this game himself. In this game, you are fed up with the hustle and bustle of the corporate rat race, and you decide to head to your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley that you inherited and start your new life. You can earn money by farming crops, take down your enemies and get materials in the mines, and befriend all the townspeople by smothering them with gifts. If you want to make this experience even more fun, you can actually play this game in co-op. This of course makes the game so so fun and if you feel like playing with two players is too easy you can actually scale the profit margin down on your produce sold for a more challenging playthrough and what's super cool too is like me and my wife play this game together and we can actually get married in the game and if you're looking for a super relaxing game to play after a long hard day of work grab someone and play stardew valley what's even better about this game is the price point Stardew Valley comes in with a price point of about 15 American dollars. That's honestly a steal for how good this game is. Coming in at number four on the list is a Pokemon game, and that is Pokemon Let's Go, either Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. This game is absolutely perfect as a co-op game, especially if you're a Pokemon fan. But specifically, I feel like this game is perfect as a co-op game, especially if you have younger kids. This game is literally phenomenal to introduce your kids to not only the Pokemon franchise, but also gaming in general. Heck, a lot of us started out as Pokemon gamers. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is actually a game based on the Kanto region in the first generation Pokemon game. It's a play on the mobile game Pokemon Go as well as there are a lot of the Pokemon Go mechanics and Pokemon Go items in the game. What's super cool though is that the game actually lets you invite a second player to join in on the adventure. All you gotta do is simply shake the Joy-Con and the other player will fall from the sky and join the game. 
If you're playing with two players, if you throw the Pokeball at the same time at a Pokemon, it can actually help the catch rate of that Pokemon become easier. And even in the battle, if you're battling someone, the second player will be able to join the battle, making the battle easier. That's why I feel this game is super good for younger kids, especially if you're trying to introduce them to gaming. And of course, this will be memories that they will have forever, knowing that their parents are playing video games with them and really introducing them to games in a game that is really as good as Pokemon Let's Go. Of course, this isn't just for kids. This game is phenomenal, and a lot of older fans enjoyed the game as well. And playing co-op in this game isn't just that it makes it easier, it's that it's fun to adventure together and just spend time together playing this game. Number five on the list is actually any LEGO game that is on the Nintendo Switch. LEGO games are S tier, and I will proudly stand by that statement. I have so, so many good memories of my wife and I actually playing Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1 and 2. It's actually one of the first games we got to play together when we were dating, and I have a lot of nostalgia for them. We actually 100%ed Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, and we quote that game all the time. Lego games are even super enjoyable alone, and they take a light-hearted spin on a lot of the series you already love. But playing these games in co-op really had something special. It's also a great system of co-op as one person controls one character and the other person just controls the other character and this results in super, super smooth gameplay. Whether you're literally destroying everything in each area to collect all the studs or just going all out and 100%ing everything in the game, playing co-op Lego games are a surefire way to have fun. Recently, my wife and I have been listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks. They're literally phenomenal. If you haven't done that yet, you should do that if you're interested. So we, of course, had to pick up the Lego Harry Potter games as well, and they are super, super good. What's super cool as well is you can actually get a lot of these older Lego games for a relatively cheap price. I think we picked up Lego Harry Potter for around 20 ish dollars, and it was actually two games in one. Also, at the time of making this video, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is actually coming out in just a few days, and I am stoked for that game. So if you're looking for an awesome couch co-op game to play, and you're trying to play with someone who really doesn't want to play with you, find a series that you both love, and then pick up the Lego game of that series. It's definitely an awesome way to have fun with someone, and I love playing Lego games with my wife. Number six on the list is Minecraft. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about Minecraft. Minecraft is huge. Not only is Minecraft huge, it's actually a hit for people of all ages, so it makes it the perfect co-op game. Of course, Minecraft is a sandbox game that is seemingly endless. You can do so many things in this one game. Create, survive, build, mine, and craft. And obviously Minecraft has been out for a long time, but what's cool is that it is available on the Nintendo Switch as well. You can also do Minecraft as local co-op on the Nintendo Switch. This can obviously help you communicate to do whatever you need to do in the game and build whatever you want to build and just have an all around good time playing this game in co-op. Number seven on the list is Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Marvel fans, where are you at? Both my wife and I are actually huge Marvel fans, and Marvel Ultimate Alliance really, really, really benefits those Marvel fans out there. Being able to control your favorite Marvel character and just beating up bad guys is so cool. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is an action RPG that lets you craft your favorite team of Marvel superheroes to take down the Black Order. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 really brings the couch co-op play to life. The co-op aspect of this game is actually seamless. It makes for great gameplay just bringing in superheroes you love from the big screen as well as some lesser known characters as well. So you can grab your favorite superhero and just beat up some bad guys and create an awesome team and just take out all your anger on these bad guys. If you're looking for a way to relieve some stress or heck just sit down on the couch with a friend and just beat up some bad guys all while enjoying all that Marvel has to offer, pick up Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Number eight on the list is Yoshi's Crafted World. Once again, Mario takes a back seat and Yoshi takes on the spotlight. Yoshi's Crafted World is a super, super fun game that lets you play as Yoshi as you progress through a world made of simple everyday objects. You'll see stuff like paper cups, boxes, ribbons, and even more as you progress through the game. It's a super, super interesting take on the game, and the unique style of the scenery around you really provides for a super awesome experience. It's a super wholesome game, and I really, really enjoy playing it. When playing in co-op mode, a second Yoshi will actually join you on your adventure, and you guys can just go through the game progressing through each level, beating each level, and having an awesome time. It's a super, super fun game, and like I said before, it's super wholesome. So if you're looking for a good co-op game, Yoshi's Crafted World might be for you. The background really makes the game worthwhile because looking around and seeing all the crazy stuff they did in the game really makes it that much more interesting. Number nine on the list is actually Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you'll know that me and my wife are both huge Legend of Zelda fans and specifically huge Breath of the Wild fans. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is a super cool take on the Breath of the Wild game, and honestly, I had such a good time playing it. And it was a great experience for anyone who played Breath of the Wild. 
Even if you haven't played Breath of the Wild, though, Age of Calamity is still super fun to just run through and hack and slash your enemies. You can play as Link, Zelda, any of the four champions, Young Impa, and more to take down the hordes of enemies. What's super cool, too, is you can actually play as co-op, and each person will control a different character, and of course this makes for awesome, seemingly effortless co-op gameplay. This game is awesome to just kick back and take down some massive, massive amounts of enemies as you and your friend just plow through hordes of enemies as some of your favorite Breath of the Wild characters. If you are a Legend of Zelda fan and specifically a Breath of the Wild fan, this game is definitely a pickup, especially if you and your spouse or your friend want to play this game together. And that's not to mention that the story in this game is actually really good as well. And number 10 on the list is of course any Mario game out there. Mario, of course, is the face of Nintendo, and you can't talk about Nintendo without talking about Mario. Mario's been beloved for so long, and it doesn't seem to be stopping. You can pick up any array of Mario games available on the Switch and have a great time. There have been a lot of remasters and ports of Mario games to the Nintendo Switch that you can enjoy, and there's really nothing like running through a game like Super Mario 3D World and letting my wife carry me the whole time, of course, because I'm garbage. Personally, I wasn't a huge fan of the way that the Mario Odyssey co-op was, but it was still enjoyable for a lot of gamers. But when you play a lot of these side-scroller games in co-op, it is so fun just to have the achievement of beating each level and knowing that you did it together. When it comes to Nintendo, you just really can't beat Mario. And then some other games, of course, that could have made the list, but are probably more or less considered party games are games like Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Mario Party Superstars. Those games are so fun to play together. And while they are more party games, you can also just play them as two-player co-op. And that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and be sure to comment below. Do you like Mario or Luigi better? Also, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you do not miss a video. This is one half of Our Radiant Gaming signing off. Everyone have an awesome day and God bless.